this pool will be solar heated. There'll be a waterfall set up in that corner, which, uh, which will just independently flow down um, over the rocks into the pool. Bob wants water to be a major feature in the house, so he's also commissioned a waterfall for the upstairs lounge. It's being made out of special glass off-site by Lisa de Boer at her studio on the Gold Coast, south of Brisbane. Lisa's been making art installations out of glass for 27 years. It's a, such a durable product, like it can go outside. I can do art on outside walls and on the outsides of buildings and I know it's going to look like that forever. Lisa will melt a large sheet of glass into a sand mould in this kiln to give the waterfall an unusual finish. The first stage is to scrape the sand, so it has to be perfectly level. I don't want any undulations or anything that can change the form of the glass because whatever this is, the beginning is how it's going to end up. The next stage is to start pressing the rocks in. Lisa's made these rock effect rollers to create imprints in the sand. They will help carry the rock theme from the walls into the waterfall. This car mat, I actually saw on the side of the road and thought, wow, that'd make such a cool rock mould. So when it's pressed in, it's going to make a dint in the sand, which creates that whole rock texture. So I'm just sort of putting it little bits and pieces here and there, not too evenly spaced because I want it to look a little bit, bit arty farty. <laughs> cool. Now the soccer ball. These textures with the, with the soccer ball I'm making now is where I'm going to add little bits of silver leaf to the piece. So see how they just give it a little bit of a variance going down? Just get my little trusty feather. I think that's it. Ta da <laughs> That'll look cool. Everything that's in there at the moment, the glass will form around it, so it will melt. It gets to liquid toffee at 800, and it just starts melting down into that design. They carefully position the glass sheet in the kiln on top of the layer of textured sand. OK, boys, you ready? <laughs> That's the top of the glass there. So yeah, it will sit, say, 80 mil from the bottom. Yeah. So yeah, come this way a little bit more. Yep. Yep. Yes, there. Beautiful. Lisa then slowly heats the kiln to 800 degrees Celsius. We'll put it on and ready to go. This is now on for the next two to three days. And because the weather's so hot, it takes a bit longer to cool down and you've got to cool it naturally because otherwise the glass will crack. Two weeks later and the glass waterfall is ready to install. The main feature of today is the uh, direction of the in interior waterfall. It's a combination of a, a big aluminium tray and a, a slump glass piece that's over three metres long and nearly a metre wide. I haven't seen the finished product, so it's going to be interesting. The glass will sit inside a tray to contain the water and stop it spilling out onto the hall floor. Lisa is on site with her team to help secure the piece into position. Wow, yes. very nice. A few, few silver leaf highlights, so yep. when you light it up from the front, yep. they'll all be a little bit sparkly. They will, I'll pick it up. Yeah. yeah, great. The glass panel has been toughened to make it as strong as a car windscreen. Even so, they must handle this three metre monster extremely carefully. Because this is toughened glass now, it becomes five times stronger than normal glass. As long as they don't drop it on its edge like that or hit it on its edge and then it will explode. Sorry, no pressure. That's good. The boys are just putting a big bead of silicon in and it's all antifungal silicon so it doesn't go mouldy. It's going to look fantastic. I can't wait to get the lights on it. Yeah. Capture the water coming down and I think it's going to be a perfect blend think, with the rocks. Yeah. I like it.
Once finished, the waterfall will be a striking feature in the lounge. <laughs>